But there were two deaths related to COVID-19 from the same assisted living facility in Broward County. There are seven positive cases there total, and there are six pending test results. Now, here's the thing. There were construction workers and other workers in that facility that were not screened, and they interacted with residents. We reported here just a few weeks ago how these operators of these facilities had the responsibility to protect those residents. ACA told them that people in those facilities needed to be screened and these residents needed to be protected. Also, he gave us an update on the drive through site in Broward County. As of 4 o'clock today, 407 samples were collected in Pembroke Pines. Those results, of course, are pending, but he said this was a really great thing that he'd like to see replicated all around the state because we need more testing here in Florida. He said that the feds have sent a three of these ready-made test sites. One's going to be in Jacksonville with 2,500 swabs. That opens tomorrow. There'll be another one in Jacksonville. They're also working on launching another one in the villages. 9,000 tests, he says, have been conducted so far. So he gave us an update on the latest numbers. 520 cases here in Florida. 474 of those are Florida residents, but Broward, Miami-Dade, those are the hotspots, which is why we're seeing so many of the testing results that happening there and happening there immediately to stop the spread. Now, we did get an update on some executive orders from the governor that happened early today, things like closing the restaurants immediately and stopping elective surgeries. We're going to have much more details on those as we go throughout the show today. So we want to get you updated on where we stand on coronavirus here in Florida and all across the country.